and we're going to jump in and see what we've notes we've got here so the map have special items it's got a new fizzler apparently and uh yeah that's pretty much all the notes we've got so let's take a look at this in the workshop and see what uh notes we have got it is testing track rewoken light one out of three by agp and uh, it's just made with b2 rate and comment is all that we've got so uh yeah let's jump in let's jump in themed b mod mads maps scare you yeah they can be scary i i can i can get that it's a little bit got a bit of a heisenberg thing going on with that uh, avatar there it looks like as well which is interesting we've got the new fizzer is a fizzer we can see in the thumbnail which pretty much everyone else has seen at this scene at this point quite possibly um so what's happening can I jump please continue into the next test chamber which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers all right we can do it that way all right so it's just the uh the yellow field i can never remember if there's like a proper name for these fields or not but uh okay so i'm guessing yeah, that button opens that no signage so it was a guess and then we'll do this And square. Square is there. It's also behind a fizzler by the looks of it. So that is turned off by this. I mean, I I like I, I like the fact that you've they've tried to use geometry here, but the fact that it covers up the ant lines isn't so great. Matter Inquisition fields. All right, let's think about this. I'll probably be overthinking this. Maybe that's just what we need to do like that. Um, bring the cube through with us. And okay, that's the, the first map. Relatively straightforward, nothing too complex in that one. Did I mind this 10? It works fine when you upgraded to Windows 11. You had some performance issues with games. You have a, a Ryzen processor and NVIDIA's graphics card. Yeah, I think um, there's quite a few people I've spoken to and they were quite surprised that... Um, were quite surprised that I'd, I hadn't had any issues because I think it was probably Doctress, actually. Doctress upgraded. And they were saying that um, they'd struggled quite, quite a bit uh, and had loads of issues with uh, certain games on Steam, but... You know, like I said, touch wood. Um, I've not had uh, any issues. All right, so this is uh, two out of three. Description's not really going to give us a lot else. Please continue into the next test chamber, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. All right, does that help me? I don't think it does. There is a cube down there which we're probably going to want to grab uh, we'll put it over there oh, that gives me the funnel The no problem, yeah, reason you lost performance of games with the processor because apparently there is a problem with AMD and Windows 11 with the L2 cache. We worked together, made a fix, including latest Windows updates, so that explains why I was having gamers. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I would, I would probably wait just a little bit. I've had I've had various emails from um, certain software 
companies saying, you know, just, you know, we're still testing our software. So, you know, we, they have, they're advising people still to hold off at the moment. So, um, yeah, I mean, Windows isn't, got, depending on, depending on your, um, I think, I can't remember how they were doing it. I think it's like depending on your specs and different bits of PC machine, but I think Windows are going to start rolling out of our Windows updates um, early part of next year. So there's still like a good few months before Microsoft are going to try and force it on the people that can upgrade. So I mean, yeah, there's no, there's no rush. There's no rush at the minute, definitely. Uh, okay, so we going to do what? I don't know what this is for. Not what that's for. We're going to have to push the cube on there. And... Okay, so we want all three ears. So it's going to be two more cubes somewhere. The laser and a flip panel. I'm not sure what flips that panel though because there is no signage. This is controlled by that. This is controlled by... That. Alright. What if we go through here, stand on here, and push ourselves across into this area? There's a cube here. Because some fizzlers could use a Mako, especially some, for some, like the paint fizzler just borrows a portal one. Yeah. The paint fizzler sometimes is also very, very subtle, which um, I'm not particularly sure about what did that open. Okay, so we can do that. I'm gonna jump through here. Uh, let's, let's flip that panel. Okay. Excellent. Mr. Burns would say. Alright, so that did that. So with the laser we can point that over there somehow. Yeah, um, they keep, there was a discussion about this, um, I saw some people having a discussion not so long ago actually, and they just keep like making little tweaks and taking stuff away that are really, it's not necessary to do it. And I think a lot of people are kind of getting a bit like annoyed with it. Let me take that in there. I wonder if I actually take this over here. Yeah, my old my old PC didn't. Um, but being being an IT company where I, where I work, because we're we're an IT company. Um, I think it'll be a matter of time before our clients are starting to use um, Windows 11. So the boss was like, "Yeah, let's get all new, let's get new PCs." So what you mean when? Uh, I mean, when per people work like this, <laughs> these icons like I've worked with for, I don't know how long, Mystical Ace. <laughs> uh, I've, I've, I personally, I quite like that. All right, I did a thing. I don't know what I did. But anyway, personal preference, you know, each drone. Everybody gets used to what they're used to. So, it's nice. Will that fly over to this side, I wonder? Hold on. Uh, right in there. There's no open grating here, though. 
Yeah, no, I can I can get that. I mean, I don't I don't have that problem as bad because I have a multi monitor set up and I have it set up so that um my taskbars only show what uh windows have got on open on each monitor. So because I don't have that much open on each monitor I can kind of quite easily see what's what and I don't I'm not I'm one to have many windows and tabs open because it frustrates the hell out of me I like to be, I'm quite an organized person so I don't like to have too much clutter open at a time but uh, no I can definitely see like the annoyance and why that causes some people to uh to, to be annoyed definitely how on earth do you get this cube out of here I wonder so I don't even know like if this is like the right thing to do at the moment. Because there's no oh, okay. That's open by something in there. Oh. Right, so Ah, okay. This is also that I didn't realise I recognised that before either. Yikes. Oh, that sucks. Good job. There's another cute funnel here. Ah, damn it. Going too early. My advice would be, though, to probably for if. If everything's stable on Windows 10, stay on Windows 10 for the time being. Right, there we go. Now we can go and press that button. I don't know why we need to press this button, but we can go and press it. There'll be a lot of antlions here. To use that comma, let me just take it over here. I think a lot of people did. Windows uh, Windows 7 was like the Windows XP. Just like every, apart from like the last couple, it's like it seemed well. No, it's true. Like it just seems like every other operating system that Microsoft bring out, like people like don't tend to like because. You know, people stuck with Windows XP for such a long time, and then we ended up with um, Windows Vista, which was, yeah, let's say no more about that one. Um, and then, of course, after Windows Vista, we had Windows 10, which was quite successful. Then we had the Windows 8, which, uh, again, wasn't particularly great. So, yeah, it's almost like they just can't, they're just not, cons they, they can't. Well, they are not consistent enough. Really weird. All right. Not not a massive fan of that one, if I'm honest. I think there was like a lot of um, it's like a lot of connections and stuff going on with that one, and it was like a bit too cluttered for my liking. But this is the third and final one of this uh, map series. What's going on, Sears? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, just uh, just keep on pausing it for the time being. I would crazy. It's probably the best uh, thing to do. Uh, same description. Just made with B2. Same entrance as well. So we've got some death, death fields in this one as well. So we've got some speed gel to play with. Yeah, the new desk is going great. I love the fact that I can like just stand up and walk around and whistle around and move around um i'll be honest though it's like i, have, well, I haven't been here all week because um i was on annual leave on monday and then tuesday i was here way working away wednesday thursday and then back here today but uh yeah my, my feet are taking a bit of a battering at the moment so it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to but no it's uh i i really like the whole being able to stand up thing. I don't know. 
Give me a light bridge. What's this one do? Give me a cube. Alright. Well, we can extract. Yeah, yeah, so it's, um... Alright, let's just, uh... Deviate slightly. So yeah, it's um it's got two electrical motors in it. So um we've got some presets, but we can go we can go a bit higher if we want. Yeah, that's that's as high as the desk goes, which is pretty darn high. And then uh yeah. It uh, also goes all the way down here like this. Well, you can see my pretty, you can see my pretty garden lights, my decking area. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> but yeah, it goes, it goes quite low to be fair. Uh, can't go no lower than that though, because I'm about to crush my DJ decks. <laughs> it uh, collision detection kicked in, and it was like, nope, you can't go no further. But yeah, it goes, uh, it goes quite low. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, I, I kind of, I like this morning, I, I kind of worked out like a pretty good balance. I started off with, um, I spent the morning, um, like sitting down and then spent the afternoon standing up. So, but yeah, they're, they're very, um, the, the stand up desks are like getting very, very popular. You had one that used the spring preload system to make it super easy to, to raise and lower. Yeah, I mean, I remember seeing, like, the first time I came across them was um, a few years ago when I was work doing, we was, I was doing some, like, overtime, and we was doing, like, some desk, uh, some office moves for some clients, and I remember coming across them, and I think they, they used to have, like, a little, or, like, the same sort of thing as um, what you're talking about, Nerd, and it had, like, a little uh, winch sort of thing on it that you could, like, raise it and lower it. There was no electrics involved, um, but, yeah. They've, um, they definitely seem to have got a lot more popular over time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is what I'm doing. I also totally didn't get an. I also totally didn't get a new desk for the fact that. Um, it, it would be good to, to DJ stood up. Totally not the reason at all. <laughs> so that does that, but we can't do anything there, so. Um, sorry. Yeah, I, I don't think they were really pushing that too much, uh, Coco, until like next year. I might be wrong. Yeah, they're definitely growing in pop uh, popularity, I see is for sure. It's even faster than a crank. Okay. I don't think I've ever I don't think I've come across anything like that, so that's uh, quite interesting. Alright, so what are we gonna do here? Let's um let's sort of try and focus just for a moment and uh, see if we can't uh, work out what I need to do. We need slash and upside down triangle. Let's slash and upside down triangle is somewhere else. Okay, what we'll do for now though is we will block this and we'll change the configuration like so. Oh, there's upside down triangle. So, we're probably about to do something like this then. Man, there is a lot of connections. Alright, so that does that. So, what about we go up here first and shoot to. <sighs> you just 
just got to love portal full stop, right? Portal physics and lasers, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to want to try to go a bit close to the ledge there. Might, uh, might help me out a little bit. Right, so that's going to respawn that. Uh, what's that doing exactly? Hmm. The fact that that cube keeps moving, it's, uh, it's probably not helped the fact that I've got uh, I've got gel on it. So, but yeah, not good. Must act quickly. That's doing though. I don't know what it's doing, and do I need to use it? Well, it's doing something on the other side. So let's go and take a look on the other side. Um, right, I'm guessing it's just one of the many connections we need for this map. That is indeed true, Coco. That was upside down triangle was here, wasn't it? That's right. So the problem is we like to do things the long and complicated way on the channel. All right, let's take this out. And then we're going to take this over here, I guess. So I want to get into there. We're going to want to do that directly, though, because we're going to want to use portals to get up to there, aren't we? That would make sense. We'll put this on a flat surface and hopefully, it says, that will not move as much. That's too steep. I just, yeah, go over there, knock. For you right there, I see us. Wait, what was what was X again? So why uh hmm Okay. So now I'm like, why was I even trying to go through that relay when it's not needed? It's just there, it's on a timer, so... I don't know. Anyway, let's crack on. Alright, so it's two edge of the safety cubes. We've got... Uh, still only one of the things done, but we can stand there. Star is somewhere else. Okay. Is, is there, oh, okay. There's, uh, there's multiple X's in that. That's confusing. So there's multiple X's. Um, Alright. Where was Star? Star was there. Thank you. 
So I need... This is open via that and that. Do I need... don't need slash anymore. This one can move over here. And then we just need to work out how to hit X. Which I assume is that one. Is there another cube I've missed? Oh, uh, hold on. What was circle? Oh, I don't need that anymore. So I'm thinking... I think... Oh, no, yeah, but that's right, but I need to go through X. That was it. Can you put... you can put borders around signage? Is that a thing? I mean... Quickly run! Go to the exit! Oh wow, I didn't even notice that. Let's get to the exit before those uh, cubes decide to uh, do something else. I don't know, that, I just found that like a bit messy. I think overall three of the maps, like the signage and the ant lines and different bits and pieces weren't great. So I feel like um, more work or, or work could be done more work could be done to imp increase the visibility for the player, for sure. Um, so, yeah. All right. Next up, we have got one requested by Crazy, and this is Get Over Here by Zool. And um, Crazy says, I can say whatever I like about it in the, uh, in the map description. And, man, I couldn't tell you the last time right? I played a community chamber map and I heard a quake, a quave, a cave of Johnson quote. Pretty crazy. Everything is there for a reason. No laser shenanigans on this one. And there is a playthrough by Crazy the on the channel the as well. The end of days. So, who is ready to make love to a giant bird? Is that like, is that a default thing this is? I don't think I've ever noticed that before, if I'm honest. Send me down. Thank you all. Alrighty then. Okay, we've got things on timers. Things on timers. Oh, it's only B. Okay. Yeah. There, there are a lot of cave lines. Genuinely, I couldn't tell you the last time I heard one. Now, I don't know if that's because mainly in uh, community chambers, people tend to... Um, I think people probably tend to suppress them more than anything, but I do know once you've exhausted the entire list of cave chambers, you don't hear them anymore. So maybe the fact that um, rebuilt my machine and we're on uh, we're on a new machine, I get to hear them in their glory, all in their glory once more. Uh, anywho, that's enough about that. Let's, uh, a quick look see and see what we can do there is a there's a relay over, uh, sorry a catcher over here which is doing that we don't need portals for anything so we can use the light bridge to go across here So we made it this far. What's next? All right, so 
Looks like we've got to do this with a single cube then. You're not a fan of the randomized voltiles, uh, Coco? Okay, so how do we, how do we? Uh, I was thinking we could maybe try and cause a cube to respawn, but uh, even if we could respawn this one, we wouldn't be able to grab it through there. So that is not the answer. If I was to go. We could uh, shenanigans. The cube up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just uh, hold fire there a minute, crazy. Alright, so let's think. We got to We gotta keep this catcher active. But we're gonna to need to use the portal to go across there. So it does feel like we would need to Looks like we'd need to activate it using without using portals so that we can then use the light bridge to get across to there so the next thought is well, I'm pretty sure the map said no nothing about no angles didn't it no laser on oh, no laser shenanigans didn't say anything about angles but I'm just wondering if like this section of the map is um, Important in some way, shape, or form. Although, I mean, we could potentially potentially play some cubes here. I don't think that they would do us any good, though. Don't look right, it's worse than the ceiling. Yeah, I get that on the ceiling. Yeah. All tiles are in big clumps in a way, like big the majority of these larger walls and smaller ones everywhere else. Pretty sure that's not gonna uh, get over there, is it? I yeah, I, I don't know. I was thinking, do we use this for something? But I, I'm now thinking not. There's that switch. I'm trying to think though, does there's so many like questions rattling around in my head at the minute, like. Maybe we use the fizzlers, because like what else is the point other than like uh to slow the player down? Hmm. What's going on Adam? How you doing?
Alright, so there's a way to do it in one the cube like that, but as previously mentioned, that uh, requires using portals to do that, so Is that crazy? Thanks for hanging, buddy. Yeah, I need the cube up there. So, like, my initial, my initial, like, play, my initial thought here, Adam, was literally, like, do this, this to release the portal. And then we use the light bridge here and here to get over to here and up to here. And then it's like, well then. Even if we could, like, force this to respawn here, we wouldn't be able to, uh... Grab it because can't grab it through that ledge. So we gotta we gotta have a way whereby mm, no. Okay. So the other thing I was thinking was if we could take the I still need to set this up with a. like something like this where the cube points to the laser here it's still using still using portals to do the laser so it really doesn't help us I guess they're on um I guess they're on like independent timing circuits, Coco. Not a hundred percent sure on that, of course, but But if we're... No other, no other like sharper angle we can get on that, is there? So I guess the, I, I'm thinking like the only point of the fizzler here is to um, is to literally make to make it more difficult just to get the cube across there. I think that's the only point of these fizzlers. Now I, I think we need to or there needs to be a way that we can simply configure we need to configure this with a single cube yeah, that's, that's like basically what it comes down to isn't it because obviously we need to I, I shouldn't say obviously but what we need to do is we need to bring a cube up to the top here 
now glancing at it, I don't see another way to... Yeah, they, I guess they are, they, they look like they're in sync. So the other thing I'm thinking here is... Um, I was thinking, like, is there something weird, like, with the floor portals that you could do, but you would still need to have both the cubes on this side of the grating. So we'll almost have, like, the cube juggling through the portals on the floor, but... Because these portals don't intersect any point of the laser, that obviously makes it difficult to achieve. So that gives us a single cube solution. However, we can't do anything from there, can we? I didn't want to spoil it, but uh, yeah, I think. Uh, he came in a little bit too quickly <laughs> with the, do you want a hint? Like literally just walked into the map and tried one thing. Bless him. Um, Is there I don't want to do that? Okay. That's a thing we could do. Now aren't filling me with the most confidence right now, I'll be honest. So I have a cube there now that I could manoeuvre and move. Yo, Doctors! Welcome, welcome, buddy. How you doing? Hope you're well. So from here I could... I can move a cube now.
I see I'm moving a key would help though, so I could do that. Which puts the cube there. So yeah, not uh not helpful in the slightest there. Don't spoil it, but I'm on the right track. Alright, I'm going to make some adjustments here. It's purely like this. Thank you very much, Doctoress. How about yourself? All right, it's the same same sort of concept here. I just repositioned the cubes a little bit. Now, I've had an idea, and I don't know... I don't know how I feel about this idea, but in effect, I'm going to be rotating this cube until it's in the correct position to go through the portal somehow and face that catcher. And I still still wanna work though, would it? So then I would just be left with a portal here and here with no way to put a portal on there without relying on portals on the laser. Yeah, what, I'm, what I was thinking was something like this. Um, don't think that's going to give me what I want, because that would be laser pointing up. And then I don't really think I can um, move that cube into a position again. Hydrate, y'all. Thanks for the hydrate, Doctor, and thanks for the... Uh... <laughs> I hadn't seen it, to be fair, Cocos. Thanks very much for calling that one out. I'm sort of being a bit oblivious to my screen on the left here at the minute. Just concentrating on my middle and the right screen. The business screens, as I'm going to call them. <sighs> what can we do? What I just need to like figure out here what you see, that's not the right angle at all, is it?
The other thing I was thinking here was... Is there a way... I think the answer would be no. Yeah, I I was thinking was it would there be a way that I could point the laser up? If I could point the laser up I could potentially uh no. It still won't work. <laughs> I wonder what those two portal surfaces are near the cube dropper. say they're probably there for access into the other one but then you could still use the portal surface sorry access into like the caged area but you could still use the portal surface where the light bridge is to get into there so possibly not possibly for climbing up the lump i don't think you could do that with that could you If you could have put the portal surface like underneath, then yeah, but How do you set this up with a single cube? This one.
observe the knock in his natural habitat. Poised at the desk, staring off into space, the knock appears to be stuck on what he has been told is an easy task. Despite looking at it for nearly 15 minutes, the knock is still unable to see how he is to proceed. <laughs> um. I think at this rate, by the you know, give give it another, give it another five ten minutes. Looking looking at my invisible watch, not even watching an angle on tonight. Um, give it another five ten minutes, and I think we'll all be hypnotised by the uh, by the sound and motion of these fizzlers going off and on. Yeah. Uh, uh, mm, mm. Go for Minecraft villager mode. Mm. Is that a seven silhouette I see in the chat? What's going on, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Welcome to some knock banging his head against the desk moments. Gonna happen. <laughs> Let the gentle hum of the fizzler transport to a state of absolute relaxation. Close your eyes and listen to the gentle sounds. Breathe in. Breathe out as you inhale, feel the neurotoxin burn the back of your throat. As you start to feel like you're hallucinating, rest assured you are not. You are simply dying from the effects of the neurotoxin. <laughs> Sound like the original guy from Headspace. <laughs> uh. I don't normally get too disheartened by puzzles that have me stumped. As long as there's like different things that I can try to do. Um, this isn't one of those though. I, I'm really struggling to see what I can do differently here. Now I have a hunch that these floor poles are involved somehow. I mean, don't ask me how. But step into the light, my child.
We all know there's only one thing we praise on this channel. We all know what we praise on this channel. Praise be the airboat. You said I was on the right track, Adam. Can you, uh, any chance you can elaborate without like spoiling anything? Any subtle hints you can give, which won't give too much away, but might help me in any way, shape or form because I got nothing here, like genuinely. Yeah, you see, I looked at the cubes in the droppers, but I don't really see how I would bring them into play or how they would be useful. Because if we take a look at like this one down here, that one's pointing to the wall. And then that one's just, to me, is far too high to be involved. And it's, it's sort of like pointing over in this direction. So I had looked at the droppers, but I kind of ruled them out because I, I genuinely don't think that they would be of any use. don't see a way either to kind of um, yeah the, uh, the sound of the fizzlers are not going to help that headache at all oh that really didn't make much difference at all See, having that do that doesn't really help in any way, shape, or form. Doesn't relinquish a cube to me. There's no way anywhere that I can like generate momentum with the cube either. So I can't like fling the cube from anywhere, can I? Um. All right. I just want to double check something. Have I missed something like stupidly obvious here? Okay, just wanted to make sure that there was no like portal bus surface on this side, but there is not.
All right, what different configurations can we do here? Is it possible? Just making sure the cube respawn is out of the question. Like there's not like some weird maneuver you can do where you can like pull it from underneath. Yo, Libby, what's going on? We, yeah. We are running dangerously thin on this one. Do you hear that? It's bliss. Um, see you later, Doctorus. Thanks for hanging, buddy. Appreciate it, as always. Enjoy your weekend. It's not going to work from there, is it? I wonder if like, I could put it over there and then get some crazy, weird, bizarre laser angles. I'm uh, I'm open to any uh, any suggestions or any comments, guys, because genuinely, I don't see what I can do here. I just can't see a way to set this up. Any sort of suggestion or comment will spoil it entirely.
Yeah, I just what I I I like from what I'm looking at, I don't think it will help because um you need to be able to hit that laser with a single cube at this point. That's the sticking point. The fact is, the only way to get a cube up here, I believe, is to bring it through this portal, which means I've got to walk it across here, which means this has to be set up with a single cube, right? But not only does it have to be set up with a single cube, it has to be set up with portal -less solution because I need to use the light bridge to get across here. <laughs> Everyone's seeing it. Come and join the Clueless Club 7 Silhouette. <laughs> Jeez. I was looking at this here. I was thinking, well, why can't I have this here and like angle it back through? But I just can't do that because I'm looking at that wall as opposed to that wall. Because I was thinking about, could I angle the laser up through here and then into there? Um, so let's just get like some general like housekeeping bits and pieces here done out the way. Wait a second. The flip panel is the clue. Oh my. Um. Um. What the hell? That is awful. I'm sorry, but... A, that's awful. And B, it's not even consistent. I mean, Libby, I think you're being like, I, I think you're being, um, I think you're being generous, giving it mixed feelings. 
if you're going to do something like quick like this, you have to guarantee it is like 100% consistent. I mean, we played that. Um, whose was it? It was, um, was it Space Space Kitty's map? The one with the, um, the real simple one with the, the movable panel. Yes, there was like a, a, a slightly, I wouldn't really call it quirky, but there was like a, a move there that was a bit weird, but it was 100% accurate. This... I've not hit once. <sighs> I was close the first time I hit it and that was it. Mm. Yeah, um... I did not like that. I did not like that at all. You're going to do something like that, you've got to make sure it's 100% consistent for a start. Um, also, just... No. It's not something I would consider doing like using the panel to fling the cube like that. Yeah. Uh, moving swiftly on. Uh, this is... Balter, is that, is that how you pronounce that? This is actually by Capucci, and I think they've probably changed their uh, changed their name to Sp 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 Spoochy, I guess, for uh, uh, Halloween. Probably even spooky, if you uh, look at it like that. Um, do you mean you Booter, do you do your mum? All right, there's probably some euphemism that I... Really don't get. Uh, update made an element of the test chain more important. Also fix the sketchy unintended solution and fix another exploit. Fix the way to get stuck and small geometry changes. Um, you like this one, but you thought there was some uh, question Look, 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 Mike, seriously, I'm not down and hit with the kids these days. Do you, do, do you realize, you know, I'm of a certain age now where, you know, I'm a dad and I don't keep up with trends. <laughs> uh, how you doing there, buddy? Hope you're well. Uh, if you want to submit maps, uh, so, of course you can. Uh, anytime you can use... Uh, Use my form, which is should be on that. There you go. You can check them in on there, and I'll add them to the queue. I think all my confidence are justified. Ah. Would you like to know the results of that last test? Me too. If they existed, we'd all be very Thanks, happy Libby. right now, and not furious, right. which is the emotion I'm actually feeling. Let's uh, jump into this. I think it's pronounced Bowter. How to do your mum. I still don't get it. Alright, what have we got here? Let's have a look. Do I need to... I mean, I could think further using that. I don't think that's going to help me. Could also put the funnel... I can't put the funnel next behind a Fizzler. Or a Fizzler. That reverses the polarity. 
That opens Fizzle so we can get the funnel back if we need it. That is for a cube. Which if I had to guess. Probably want to do something like this with. Okay. Then what are we going to do here? We're going to want to be up there at some point in the puzzle. Alright. Too late in the day to uh, see things like that. Yeah, I'm a bit slow. I'm a bit slow. And that's all I gotta say about diet. I suppose it's something we could do. We do ideally need to get to the other side though somehow. Is that in line with that? It's in line with that, so we could... I was gonna say, am I like missing like something really obvious here, or could I not just like push that to there and that? I th but I think because uh, the cube was on there and I was still on there before, that's why everything opened up. So, uh, all right, for um, the risk of making a really bad move here. over here and hope there's a way to pull myself across to there. Which there is. Excellent. And we can drop down here. So we have that. We're going to want to put a portal on there with the reverse funnel to pull the cube across to there. We can then head up to here to take a look what's going on. Cube on there to take us up to there. We have return paths. We're also going to want to use the funnel to there, so... I kind of always want to get rid of that, but... I don't think we can at the minute. We could, however, use that to jump across the gap, so... Jump the gap. And then we can do this. Now we can head back over to that side. Don't need to worry about the portal for now. Yo, T Chapman, what's going on, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. It's been a while. Uh, what I should have done is should have pressed that button when I was over there before. Not a big thing though. We can go back. Is this a... Uh... Okay, yeah. Cube auto respawns. That's what I wanted to check there. So... Having done that and that... I'm going to want to fling across again.
and then we can do uh, if I want to bring across what we pull to here. Now, if this is the intended, not yeah, you'll see in a minute. that's the intended, I'm not a hundred percent sold on that for the simple reason that uh, you can't see when you're dragging that across. So yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Now I'm going to want to do that, push myself, so we can use the other cube potentially now, wherever it may be. Well, I'm going to fling across again. I'm going to save there. Okay, so that goes up to there. Now what I'm... I might, or I may have needed... to... keep the funnel somehow. I feel like I gotta push this cube into use. However, to do that, we're gonna need a reverse funnel, which means we need a cube on there. Kinda goes against what. Kinda goes against what I've just set up here. Now, the other thing we could potentially do is using this. But to do that, we'd need to fling over here, get the blue funnel, or get in the blue funnel at least. Okay, okay I might have an idea here of what we could do. Possibly. Okay, so let's just leave that cube on that platform for the time being. We'll head back over to the other side. Excuse me, guys. I do apologise, very rude of me. Um, okay, so we'll do this. Not sure how we get rid of that though, that's that's a problem. And that was completely the wrong move. Um it's my portals the wrong way around. Let's do this. Let's 
Let's push me down a little bit. I can use this to push myself across here. And then that kills me. Good job, Knock. Fantastic effort. Good night, Libby. Take it easy. Have a good weekend. Alright, let's save here a minute. Uh, this is a genuine state we had. So, I could go up here. I could then do that. It's kind of gone a bit too far. Um, they got to reset everything. So I'm going to find a way to get that cube out of there. Is the goal. There's no way to there's no way to keep a portal there. Unless I can use the funnel. We go back to what we had before. This takes us up to the top. No. We're always going to lose this portal surface here. Is rather annoying. Push it here. But then I'm going to lose it when I go across there, aren't I? I go here and here, and then we can't do anything else, so we lose. We lose the ability there, so that's not what we need to do. for large audiences indeed.
interesting one. Definitely. Alright, seven silhouette, take it easy, buddy. Good to see you again. Have a good day. Clearly, we've got to push that with the funnel. So, the headache is getting. cube in here but having the funnel no worries ace catch you later buddy thanks for hanging appreciate it okay that does that but need to drag it around like that so it's really help us in the slightest Easily getting back to this position here. that uh, age old thing it's the age old sign of madness isn't it going round and round oh hold on a minute hold on a minute something else we could do. I've just realized we can walk around here and get back into the walk around here and get back into the uh, funnel from here.
All right, so. What if? Cube stays here. We go around here. Then we drop into the funnel here. Okay. We travel through here. And onto this platform here. Where we can now extract this cube. Like so. Respawn this cube like so. And then So here we now need to go through the f uh, Yeah. Yo, Pick Pick, what's going on? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Keep with me. It's simple as that. And then I can just drop this down. Alrighty then. That's a pretty cool map. The only thing that I would, uh, I'd say I wasn't like too keen on, like I was like I made vocal at the time, was the fact that um, you had to um, do that bit with the get the other cube blind. There was no way to see like where this was. This cube was in relation to the water and the um, fizzler. I'm um, pretty sure there would be like a way that you could have put like a glass wall or something in there just to make that a little more accessible to the user. That's the right word. Um, but yeah, other than that, that was a really good puzzle. I really like that. There was um, the the obviously the jewel, the jewel in the crown, and the realization moment was the fact that I could drop into the funnel here. And that was the big sort of point which solved the map for me. Um, so I was, I was genuinely trying to work out how I could persist that and get back over to the other side. But no, that was a really cool map. Um, well put together. And uh, I apologise that uh, I didn't get the uh, the bit in the description because uh, now I feel like I'm an absolute laugh laughing stock because <laughs> everybody else uh, got it. Anyway, guys, uh, I think I think I'm actually going to uh, call it there for tonight. And, um, uh, yeah, wrap it up right there. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in, though. I appreciate the support, as always. And uh, we'll be back streaming on... Um, we'll be back on... On, 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 on. Uh, Monday night. Sorry, I have to think about that. Yeah, Monday night stream will be back. But I think I might just do a um, week-long stream next week of Portal Maps because we've, cause we've been away and kind of like Portal's been put on the back burner a bit. We're going to do uh, a week long. Uh, so Monday, Tuesday, and Saturday next week will all be Portal 2 streams. Um, and then hopefully by the end of next week, I'll have decided like what the next next the next let's play is going to be on the channel because we finished evo land up last week 
So uh, that opens up that slot. So uh, yeah, week after we will start a brand new Let's Play. But uh, yeah, for next week, it will be Portal 2 or 3 streamers. But thanks everybody for tuning in. I really appreciate your support as always. And until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Stay safe. And until next time, happy gaming. See you later, guys. Thank you very much. Goodbye.